This video is going to cover how to set up your mastery grading. So there is a reporting option in Schoology. This is called mastery. It does not pass back perfectly to Mises. Um, however, um, it is a good tool and it could inform how you give students final grades or it could be a formative assessment tool if that's how you want to use it. But uh, it is a a pretty good tool for giving you some information. So if you click on Mastery, you will see this. Now mine's already set up, so um, the way I like it, but I'll, I'll still show you. There's a lot of different ways that we can set it up. Um, there's a lot of different reporting options and uh, different ways to see it. So to access those, you want to click on the gear button. So under there, there is a mastery settings. So if I click mastery settings, you will see this. Now, the mastery scale that you want to use should be one of the uh, leveled scales that you have created, um, whether it's one through four, or one through five, or whatever, whatever you are using to keep track of your grading. So choose that one. By default, it's set to numeric. Um, it might even be set to um, this default secondary grade scale. But I'm going to set it to the grading scale that I, am, that I want it to be. You can change uh, what you determine to be uh, meeting expectations. You can determine what is needed in order to determine mastery, how many levels of uh, of meets or exceeds expectations students have demonstrated. You can change the overall learning objective scale, how it works, um, by clicking this button. So there are three options currently. Highest score, so that'll just take whatever's the highest score that a student has scored. Average, this will add up all of the different tasks and then divide it by how many there are, you know, an average. And then this is a decaying average. So this puts a weight on the most recent observations. And you can change this percentage from 99, which would be heavy emphasis on most recent observations, to something like 0%, which has no weight given. But 75% is the standard default one that's set up. There's also little uh, tooltip things, little th little. Uh, circles with a question mark in them, which do a pretty good job of explaining what exactly these things are doing. Um, and you can play with these to get them to be uh, the way you want them. So then once you have it the way you want it, just hit Save Changes, and you will see your current grade set up. So each one of these different uh, things is going to change how your grading works. I only have one assignment in right now, so it doesn't really change much. Um, but you need to choose the one that you think does the best job of capturing your student's performance. So this is what you see. And then if you click, your, if you move your, sorry, not click, but if you put your mouse over the text, it gives you the full information on it. And it also gives you some information about of your total students, who is exceeding expectations, meeting expectations, doesn't meet expectations. Um, you can also click this button here, and there's some reporting options. Um, if you click on this, it tells you some uh, more information about each learning objective. So if you have lots of different assignments, this will show you how students are performing on all of those different assignments. Um, but like I said, this does not currently report to MISIS. You cannot use this as a passback. So if you were to want to use these numbers as your grading scale, um, there is a trick to that. So you would want to create a, a different item in Schoology for each one of these different learning objectives. So under Grade Setup, you would just add in your different items. So I have a 
example objective A. So I'm just going to have those. add these in. Um, you can weight them as well uh, if you think certain things are more important than others. So maybe you keep all of the uh, practice things, maybe S, you know the specific grade themselves, you weight at zero, um, but all of the objectives you would then add Just add all these standards in by hitting add, this add button, and you can add the name for it. And then you weight them by hitting the weight button. So you notice when the weight button's gone, they're gone, that weight thing has disappeared. So uh, it automatically creates a percentage over here of what the weight is. So I'm going to hit save changes. So now their grade you, you have one more thing you have to do. So this is to get, this is all just to get mice's pass back to work. So in your gray book now, you have to create an assignment that would be just holding this information. So in here, we would just go like that. So now, whatever it is under mastery, so it's a four for the student, a four, four, and a two. So over here, you would have a four, and you can click the button or write a number in for it. You would just put those numbers in there. So now when you do the MISIS grade pass back, it's not going to have any issues. So that's how to set up mastery in Schoology. There are a lot of different uh, ways to do it. Um, if you have any more specific questions about how to do this, I'd love to sit down with you and we can talk about maybe your special specific needs to your course and your department. But that's it for now.